Hi, so I just wanted to make this quick video to catalog where I'm at with this current project that I've been working on. This is an Arduino powered wind vane, sort of an anemometer kind of thing. Well, my plan was to make it an all-in-one, you know, wind speed and direction kind of device, and I'll probably still do that. But there are some changes that I need to make that I've only found out, you know, are necessary after making this little prototype. So you may have seen my short about this funky looking disc. This is an absolute position encoder. I think they're very cool. I don't know why. Something about them is just fascinating to me. Just the idea of, you know, encoding binary directions onto a disc and then reading it. Something about that is just so, you know, cool to me. It's this pattern allows you to read a position. I mean, I know it it's not groundbreaking stuff, but something about it and just the, the funky looking pattern just, just kind of clicked with me. I just really enjoyed it. So let me show you where I'm at with the project and I will detail why I am putting it on the back burner for a little bit, what went wrong with it. Um, and also if you want the code for it, for whatever reason, um, I'm gonna be posting that in the description of this video, as well as the files for the absolute position encoder disc. This is the old version and the new version is right here. So there is the absolute position encoder. Here are the photoresistors. They're kind of embedded in this little arm. And then I have them all hooked up to my Arduino, which is reading them all. And then I have some code going on that, um, well, the goal, well, here's why, I, here's why I'm kind of backing off this project. The goal was to be able to tell exactly which position the wheel, the reader on the wheel is facing based off of the photoresistors. But what I kind of started realizing is that these photoresistors change drastically based on the light that is around, which makes sense because that's literally their whole job. But in terms of making a device that could work, I mean, and this configuration, don't get me wrong, this configuration could work and it actually does work like this, it works pretty well. But the thing is, it wouldn't work if I took it into a room with different lighting or if it was outside, it wouldn't work during the nighttime, it could work but it would require a ton of coding and a lot of, quite a bit of statistics actually, to get it to, uh, you know, be able to sense its current environment and use that as the standard and measure itself against that, rather than encoding, you know, absolute values into it. So I'm gonna be putting this project on the back burner for a while, I just kinda wanted to show it off before I do so. Um, and also for myself, in case I forget, you know, how I wired something or something like that. But I, I think if you wanted to do this really well, what you would have to do is there would need to be lasers or so, or a light source or something. Like it would need to have its own way of creating. There would, there would need to be no question, I think, of whether or not light was shining on the photoresistor. I, I picked up a couple of these. Uh, these are like little laser diodes for things. They're really cheap. Um, they're not very strong. But if you shine one directly onto a photoresistor, I mean, that, there's no question that's you're going to get the minimum possible resistance out of it because that's just such a powerful wavelength. So I started thinking, I think ideally you'd want sort of a sandwich. You'd want sort of like a, a clamp that goes around the disc and then one end has lasers and one end has readers or photoresistors. Can it work like this? Yes, but I'm not going to spend the time to make it work like this because I, I think it would take a considerable amount of coding. And I'm, I'm an amateur coder. I'm okay, but it's not my strong suit. Um, I'm, I much more enjoy sort of the designing of these projects rather than the optimization of them. So who knows if I'll pick this back up or not, but I just wanted to document it and hopefully uh, inspire somebody making something similar. So, and if you do make something similar, show, show it to me. I'll, I'll post it, I'll, uh, you know, I'll show everybody. I would love to see that. That'd be super cool. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.